Hey, what's up, y'all? Eric here, aka Cloud. Like, a welcome y'all to the new episode of Persona 5. Yes, so far, I've not seen the last few episodes. The playlist will be in the description. Check it out. Hit the sub button, follow Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok description. But yes, here we are. Without further ado, let's get started. We have four days until. Yep. I should write something. I just keep forgetting the button. Shoot. You know what she did. Laughed. And talking it. And stop talking about how she Honestly though, refreshing. I'm not even mad anymore. Yes, you really just need someone to laugh at you if you feel better. Seems that way. Uh -huh. I mean, they always Laughter is the best man. In the truth of anyways. Hey. Thank <laughs> you. 
It sounds like everyone's starting to get anxious. Mm -hmm. Considering how fast the days are closing in, the best thing we can do for now is stay calm. Yep. The whole city will flood. Oh. Hi. A Becky. Actually, apology. Let's see. That just uh, was top before she doesn't even let's consider a problem child. And he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I put some charges and guided him, or rather, pushing him to transfer to another school. But when I got to know him, Realized he wasn't a problem child after all. In fact, he was just working on several part time jobs just so he could cover up his living expenses. Military took him in when he died, so he had to make more than to support himself. But he couldn't attend school every day, but he's motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. I decided to start working with him. I didn't. Working with him, his grades started improving slowly but surely. But I'm not told, told that it was a wrong only help an experienced certain student or not the others. There's strange rumors about him being a juvenile delinquent beginning to late. On top of that, I got called to the principal's office. He threatened me to say anything. Threatened me. Say that I'll be dismissed. I continue to do it, Cassie. How terrible. Yeah. But you could say that uh, about me. I got scared. Lost my job, and I. 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 I, I and having rumors spread right about. It. I got canceled. I love computering check. Okay. Is on his way to his part time job when out of all the days, New Year's Eve, rain all day. He died in a car crash. What he said, he's he was so he sounded depressed, so depressed. So I, when I told him, I couldn't tutor him anymore. But when he said that, it was no big deal because he had worked. Worked anyways, I couldn't feel bad. Only like he kept his promise to It's no one's fault. Okay. 
thought was exhausted. The theory section working part time, part time jobs. His guardians blame me for the accident. Saying it was my fault for that he was so tired. They said that they were going to sue me and issues of me the media and the board's education. I couldn't have been accused of a crime. But if we would have gotten to school, we would have done it. We would have been done for. I want to continue teaching. I what? And the pain of the apology money so they couldn't sue me for anything. Or any set. Or said anything. Okay with this? Was my myself every day. I know it's pain to bring him back, but the only way I can my sins being my guard he is going to our satisfied of our reach so see nothing's good to come from all with me I had to keep this Distant to avoid hunting. Yeah. Too late now. Night. So sleep. Three days. Oh. Watch a movie. This man is a convicted criminal, yet you want to save him? His guilt or innocence is for the courts to decide. My only concern is that he lives long enough to get there. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. I like how Morgana I like that as a cat. The funny. <laughs> I bet all cats yeah, all cats are like that a lot sometimes. Mm-hmm. Well then. Yeah, I just try to do some more kindness and more whatever stuff there.
What do you think? Fine. should still be heading down the path to misery without changing. I mean, look! What? The sequence of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. No, no, no! This must be some sort of trick. You a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? No, no, I didn't. Then what did you do? Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. He's an ordinary student. Certainly do seem ordinary. Yes, quite ordinary indeed. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is huh? quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. Okay. Well, that may be true. your fortune please I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers besides I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better okay sure how does that sound is it a deal hmm. otherwise I won't be able to go on please I beg you I need to know if fate truly can be changed All right, I'm sick. You will? Really? Yep, I'll do it. Okay then. I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal after all. Okay, no problem. Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fortune persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. All right. This fate really something that can be changed if it's really possible then hmm. oh it's getting late let's close up shop for today it's past your curfew okay no problem um yeah uh, i forgot to get your contact info Oof. Here we go. I'll con I'll be contacting you soon, so please come to the verify test, okay? 
I suggest you don't try to get out of it. Or else, who knows what kind of blind magic I can resort to. I'll be there. Great. Feel is official. Sorry for taking... Sorry for taking up the, so much time of your time. Be careful on your way home. Until next time. See you soon. Two days. Go. It's so wet out. Yeah, I know. Right now. work I've been waiting any questions uh. let me explain in advance All right hmm. hey so yes uh, we'll get to work Nice work. Hey. Right. Oh, thank you. Man. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go home. One more day. My goodness. One more day.
before I go into movie about uh, charm. I can do that, yeah. Take a look around. Let's try the Big Bang Burger challenge. Or we watch a movie. I'll wait. Okay. It appears everyone is here. Through the big bang burger. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> now then. There you go. Uh, just like I know, uh, I have the poster of the uh, Joker eating a Big Bang Burger. I had it, got it on the uh, anime fest. It's pretty cool. I'm about to eat the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, you done it again. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Please come again. I knew you could do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Top of right through house with Taba and everything. Anyway. Tomorrow, where have you been? Been searching all along, confessing while I'm home. Sure, we'll be fine. I have to agree with Makoto. He knows how this might turn out. Yeah. 
say stupid shit like that. Just decent daydreaming. Hmm. Heal. Let's screw stuff's going down. Who's that guy? Oh, that's a massa. I know. Uh, not very well anymore. Deadline starting, so let's hope with Tabla's okay. Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Yep. Taba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. Uh, yeah. Oh. There's something I came to do. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Oh. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Uh, sure. Thank you. Futaba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow, either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? That reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. I, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? Right. I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. Try it. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death a suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Seems so. Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off, thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> that's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. 
She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. They're scumbags. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? At the heal on their own. I agree. I'm waiting for it to happen, but Futaba. Oh, Futaba. It's cold. Uh, uh huh? You can't sell this. No, no, never mind that. But uh, how did you get here? Uh, I walked. You're okay? Was that bad? Th th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> it's all right. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. Uh, and you're supposed to help us out? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh... Edget? Oh, that's it. Let's take care of it now. Come. Yes, let's take it here right now. It's my turn to help out. Huh. Medjed. Now how do we cook them? Eliminate them. Huh. Violent much? Hey Futaba, we don't have much time left. Are you sure you can do this? The, the kitty talked? Uh, yeah. Is this a dream? No. I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream! Get up! Say something! The talking cat. R right. Now hurry it up! Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. Alright. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba! I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she can focus at all. Utaba, you should really clean your room a bit. Huh. She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. Yeah, do it. There you go. Oh, it looks a little better now, don't you think? Yep, a lot better than it was before. Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. Ready? <laughs> What's up? Something happened? It's finished. Finished? What is? <gasps> it's so clean. Why? Uh, cause I cleaned it for you. At least be a little bit grateful for that. We cleaned it. Exactly. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? He's asleep. <laughs> She's sleeping. Well, of course. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep, too.
I'll tell her what we're talking about. Awesome. You're taken care of. We're... Get me back to sleep. Seriously? Leave her. Right? Right, we should be. <sighs> oh. Let's watch a movie. So you've been lying to me. It's not what it looks like. I can explain. I'm ashamed of myself. I doubted you. I see. Hmm? Charm. Oh, more. All right. Well then. What's up? So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. All right. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah! What are you all smirking about? Uh, I think. <laughs> it's nothing really. Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? <laughs> my customers are on summer vacation too. Oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. There are still 10 days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me too. Like that research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> oh damn. It seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the is that attitude guy who of the police, screw me over. and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. 
I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura? And Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other Metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? So you were aware that what you were doing wasn't the pure justice you envisioned? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. All right. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? We're about to find out. To think, the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Exactly. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? <sighs> she is quite difficult. smell come on no fair hey can i snag a bite meanie why don't we take a short break i've been thinking even if futaba is a genius could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily the one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Mejed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. 
Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the hacker of justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? <laughs> this may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? That's right. Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. <laughs> what should we do? Let's get to know her. How? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. <laughs> We do have the time, thanks to summer vacation. She's like, wait, what? We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach. There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea. I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else, depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Good luck. Why me? <laughs> this is playing with Morgana. Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. Stay calm about this. I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Hey, is this really going to be okay? 
I'm worried about how things will be from now on. It'll be alright. all people getting excited about this well the news really did draw a lot of attention I can't wait to see what happens hi oh let's watch a movie again you're right how stupid do you think I am it's okay I'll tell you everything I just don't want to lose you that's all I needed to know hey Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well then. I right, set to bed. Back to this uh, cell. Hey, what's going on here? Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. You're dead. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Uh, thank you. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. Uh, yeah, I am. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down Otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. All right. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. Ooh, I got severe support. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um Shaker. Looks like we looks like we're meeting up immediately over her for Tabas. Akio is really going. supposed to be <laughs> what the heck is this don't worry about it such avant-garde design you have excellent taste <laughs> let's get started shall we yeah let's get started let's go what do you plan on doing I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. 
Incompetent. Yes. You must be well versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. Sorry, I had to yawn. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Okay. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Dunno, I haven't been out. Oh, right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. It, this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. <laughs> Let's go see a Genyu squad from Dragon Ball Z. Appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Featherman. No, yellow and pink's heads, and red's been hacked to bits. The Inari. You know Inari Sushi, the tofu things foxes eat in the old stories. What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Uh, how dare you say that to me, of all people? <laughs> Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Hmm? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. Yeah. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes. She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Wall be there too. Well, I guess in that case... I've left tomorrow to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But I guess we'll see what they can do. Hey! Hey! 
Good evening. There's hey hello there. Nice. Surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! <laughs> really? Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you, Futaba? Yep, welcome. 
Why are you wearing that? Habit. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. It'll be okay. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? <laughs> Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that step to other people. <laughs> I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep. I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? <laughs> you know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. what normal is but if this is it I'm happy I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing mm-hmm I'm relieved too I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate by the way what's on the agenda for tomorrow how about we have her try helping around the cafe that's perfect it'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode. You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. I'll be there too. I'd be mad if you weren't. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. You're all gonna pay for this someday. Anyways, y'all, uh, we're gonna stop right here, but don't worry, we're gonna help Otama with all the stuff. But thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and awesome comment. Tell me what y'all think. And ask Morgana what y'all think. Hit this up button, follow Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok description. Hope y'all do enjoy. And as always, see y'all next time.